Welcome back, everyone. I'm Nicholas, and this is Major Crit. And we are almost done with the... Well, at least this first part of Inside Ganon's Castle. I'm trying to break this barrier by removing all of the seals. Similar to the seals on the sages we encountered before. Just got this spirit temple to do. And we'll be through that door. Huh. Why did you not die? That was weird. <laughs> not sure why that happened or didn't happen. Now let's go ahead and get those balls because we are running a bit low. Can I shoot straight up? Uh, not quite. Now this seems pretty easy. I feel like there should be more of a trick to this room. Come on. I can't, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't letting me grab it. To make some space so that that doesn't bounce back and forth so much. Well, this has been easy so far. Why did you have to stop me? That's one thing I don't like about how this game handles things, is when it stops you to show you stuff, it can leave you with problems. All right, we've got a gate. Can I hit that through the wall? Yes. All right, can I hit that through the wall? No. Oh, but there's a chest. I didn't realize that it dropped behind me. Ah, bomb shoes. Is there a, yeah, there's a hole in the ceiling. Now, I've been having problems throwing these guys straight, though. Let me see, can I line myself up? Nice and neat. Yep, I feel like I'm straight on there. Let's see if I actually am. Yeah, all right, cool. That worked well. And now do we need to bomb that? Or that looks like it might have been cobwebs. Let's go ahead and use some fire. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. See, one thing I don't like about this is, as far as I can tell... Oh, I was about to say, as far as I can tell, there's no way to tell which is the correct one. But let me have a little look here. What happens when we put on this? Nothing changes. They all still look the same. All right. I thought I had a great idea. Maybe, you know, that the the true one would show up while the fake ones, or, you know, the ones that drop enemies down on you, would you know, show up differently underneath the lens of truth. But no. It's all the same. So we're really just kind of randomly guessing here. Come on, there we go. Huh. Spirit temple, or, you know, spirit seal ended up being one of the easier ones, even though it was our last. I suppose we could have done it first, right? There's nothing stopping us from going left instead of right at the beginning. Which is that since the spirit temple was... Oh, here we go. The spirit barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. Since the spirit temple was the last one we did, I was just expecting it to be harder in general. Alright, all the barriers are dispelled. Let's see what happens. You know, if we could have just, like, somehow 
then a hook shot or some sort of jump or climbed up the wall to get to that door over there. We could have just avoided this whole business. Just walk through the fanged mouth. No problems here. Come on. Come on. Why is this... Ah. So annoying. Like, I could have sworn... There's a bunch of times where my sword was right there. And it should have hit. There we go. Yeah, it's like... The... The sword blows are a lot more... Kind of horizontal maybe with the big one sword. And so when the guy's right in front of me, but above me, flying, it doesn't hit him. Oh well. I, I was kind of expecting a chest or something to show up in the, once we killed all the guys. I do hear some wings flapping, like a, a chest to show up kind of in between these two torches maybe. I wonder, are we gonna have a map for this dungeon? I don't think so, because normally that, that map screen would have been replaced by, you know, a dungeon map screen. Yeah, nothing there either. Weird. Alright, you guys go down like chumps. Um, gated. Doorways. Don't know what's up with that. I guess we'll go the obvious way for now. You know, this is feeling like this might be new. We might be done. Like, soon. Like. We might be about to begin, and this... Could this be the finale? I wasn't expecting it, but we could come in under 50 episodes, especially if this episode needs to go a little bit longer. You got the boss key! Yeah. I guess we'll see. We'll see when we get to Ganon. What time we're on. Oh, no, that's kind of exciting. I was expecting it to take me longer. Black and the white. I'm just eating all the hits here. Because I know if I just go fast enough, I'll win. Especially since I'm... Um, Especially since I've got kind of that double health defense upgrade now. I can just brute force my way through. But yeah, back to full health. Not even a problem. I've noticed we fought all duos of enemies. Oh, is this... This is it. That was a boss door. Which means, you know, where we must be now. In the boss room of the final dungeon. Which is apparently... No, not up there. Weird. Um... Oh, okay, weird. <laughs> oh, we are getting fancy though. Look at that stained glass window. I forgot how much of the dungeon was those initial six rooms. I guess that was the majority of it, and then just kind of a couple of fight rooms after that, and and then here we are. Uh, now is this gonna be the boss? Yeah, that feels like a cutscene starting.
Oh, Ganon's the one who's been playing the music for us this whole time, I guess. Zelda, I'll save you. Was that supposed to heal me if I was hurt? When my hearts came up there? The Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day, seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. <laughs> and now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. Nick, I can't help you. Because of the waves of darkness, I can't get close. I'm sorry, Nick. So that means great king of evil, Ganondorf. So does that mean I can't lock on? Also, I kind of want to do this. Face Ganon and. Oh. So what? Do I need to light arrow him? I want to see if this is going to be more of that uh, tennis style fight. Yeah. But I need to get my reach down. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Hit. Cut. See, I was kind of expecting to be able to light arrow him. I haven't actually used that for much yet. Alright, I feel like I've got the timing down pretty well at this point. Not perfect, but... Come on. Anytime. There we go. Come on, sword. Alright, that's good. Ouch. Going pretty well, though. Okay, some more tennis. Ooh, went down fast that time. Come on, there we go. And now we can jump across and slashify. Man, are we only allowed to get like one slice off? I wonder if I should be doing a jump attack then for double damage. Oh, almost did that one too early. Oh no, I can get multiple attacks. Just felt like I was only allowed one that time, previously. I noticed his cape's getting all raggedy. Um, I feel like I can't block that one. Or, yeah. I don't think we're gonna play tennis with that one. Ah. In too much of a hurry. I missed it. Alright, come on. Gotcha. 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 There we go. Is his hair longer than it was? I forget. He's got a bit of a mullet now. The great evil King Ganondorf, beaten by this kid? Nick. So 
funny how he's got kind of like shiny golden power. You know, I just associate more that with, you know, the power of light, not the, the king of darkness. Bit of a Lucifer thing going on. Oh. Huh. Weird how that broke the castle, but didn't injure me. Oh. Is that the hem of her dress on the back there sticking out of the crystal? How does that work? Ganondorf, pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the gods. And... Yeah, talk smack, Zelda. <laughs> We're not done yet. Nick, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please follow me. Something about her running in the dress there. You know, the kind of... Yeah. Yeah, their arms really do swing a lot. Like, both Link and Zelda there. Alright. Magic power. Alright, so this is why there are all those gates we can get through. Because those were our shortcut out of here. Nice of him to have the, uh, the shortcut installed like this. I wonder if uh, he had intended it for his own escape. Is that one nothing? Alright. Ouch. Yeah, it's a fine... I take ro worse than rocks to the head all the time. I do like that they actually did that, though. That they made Zelda actually worried when you take damage. Makes her slightly more reactive than just, you know... Somebody just ran along and opened the doors without noticing what you were doing. Oh! Did not see that. Yep, that's a narrow ledge. Okay, I'm trying to remember how many floors we came through to get here. All right, enemies. Three hits. Yeah, come on. There we go. Thank you, Nick. Now let's hurry. Oh. Okay. Gratitude. Right, looks like we're almost at the bottom. I didn't want to get hit during a cutscene. I know it doesn't actually deal damage, but it still feels bad. Now, what's causing the castle to fall apart in just like flaming boulders? Because that doesn't seem to be how the castle's act like what the castle is actually made of, right? Like they're big, big cut bricks. For the ceiling, at least. The ceiling looks fine when you look up, so... Ah, man, right at the end. That's, that's just a jerk move. Alright, now I suppose... Yeah, I, I had assumed that we were going to go through that central room and then cross the bridge, but I get close this is that bridge out of... Out of Ganon's castle, kind of a back entrance. Almost a full minute left on the clock, and I think this is our way out. Yeah, the music tells me so. Huh, I never noticed those, like, glowing lines up the side. 
I like how the whole like tower just comes off in a full piece, sliding through the texture of the wall. Uh, they were working with limitations back then. Ah, but still very cool. That's when you've got a load-bearing boss. Take him down and the whole place crumbles. Satisfying, I think. Yeah, funny how, though, it does just, like, sink straight into the ground, like, through the ground. Flattens out. It almost makes it feel like it's made out of cardboard or something. Just being, you know, flattened out to the ground. Oh, but now it's all messed up. It's over. It's finally over. Now, you just jinked us. Nick. Uh, Nick, I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the battle before. Alright. I told you you jinked us. Jinxed us. The dwarf part of him was the, the lame, big eared guy part of him. Okay, now, that's no good. There's no way he's gonna hold me back again. This time we fight together. But, like, do I have my big Oron sword? Because you just knocked away the Master Sword, which is the weaker of my two weapons. Yeah. Ah, but he seemed to be immune to damage, so what was even the point? Ganon, I really have no idea what his weak point is. Light arrow to the face? Ah, tail. His tail looks funny. Okay, quick light arrow, and then... Tail. So what happens if we shoot the tail with a light arrow? Yeah. Doesn't really seem to have planned around me having a backup sword. Oh. Oh, nice. I was wondering what was going to happen if I ran out of... If I ran out of magic. But I just gotta make sure I defeat him before he breaks everything. I wonder what does more damage, the light arrows or my sword? It seems like I can only... I can only damage the, the tail while he's in a stun state. It becomes invincible again once he can start moving. I suppose if I didn't have the sword, I'd have to shoot him in the face and then shoot him in the tail. Nick, the master sword is here. Hurry up! Like, all right, if you if you insist, I wasn't really using it. Nope. I'll have that back, thank you. Yeah, probably should have been doing jump attacks the whole time. Man, 
wouldn't let me jump on. Or jump attack him. Just good time. Target on. Alright, now I'm out of magic. So I need him to break something for me. Uh, come over here. Oh, bombs. I assume that means that I can use bombs to do something about him. Maybe I could bomb him his tail. That seems like it would be tricky, though. Don't stay stunned for too long. Ouch. I think I've got some berries in my pocket. Okay, so it's back full of arrows. Now please have some magic in here. Nice. Come on. There we go. Alright. Alright. Man, that that low health beeping does bring the tension on. Alright, it seems like Navi automatically targets. So when I was untargeting to retarget on the tail, I was kind of wasting wasting a bunch of time and energy that whole time. Got the rhythm, got the rhythm. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of magic again. But I think that's my last one. Alright, Navi, any information here? How do you not know what his weak point is? We've just been... Uh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, apparently I can just duck under his legs. But yeah, you can't forward roll with a sword out because gives you a jump attack instead. But I can literally just run under his legs. All right, this is actually turning out. But ah, I'm trying to like dodge roll towards him. I've been playing too much Dark Souls. It doesn't work in this game. Come on, how much do I have to kill you before I can kill you? I wonder if the Master Sword will allow me to like, do more damage. Because you think, you know, the Master Sword, the Sword of Evil's Bane, it's this whole, like, you know, great magic weapon. I think it would do more, but now it doesn't seem to be. At least he's not reacting any differently. Alright, how do I... How do I deal with this guy when I'm out of magic? Alright, nice. Okay, so the hookshot does seem to at least bother him. Man. Getting back up. Retargeting. It's like he's fast enough to that that leaves you open. And for some reason, it seems like I can walk under his legs easier with the big horn sword out. Like I wonder if my hitbox is slightly different. Man, I really wish I could see what I was doing. I really wish Zelda could help me out here. Like, she's got magic. I know that. Yeah, and blocking just doesn't do anything. Here's, 
pillar or something. Oh, well that gets me arrows back, but arrows are not what I need. Alright, this is getting tight. Sorry, I'm trying to lock onto him, but he's just too close and he's too dangerous. Is that the last? Ah. All right. Let me see. Where does it respawn me? At the top of the map. All right. Here's how it's going to be, guys. This is not the finale. Tomorrow, going to come back. We're going to take Ganon down. All right. Oh, I'm out of fairies. All right. I'm going to have to take Ganon down smart next time. I'm going to try to use some bombs, maybe some bomb trees since those got dropped as well. And we'll see what we can do against this guy. All right. So uh, until then, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>